Monday night, we have a uh, a banger of a matchup, I guess you could say. The Giants heading to Arrowhead Stadium to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, the Giants are actually the team with momentum at this point. Of course, coming off that big win against the Panthers last week. And the Chiefs have looked like absolute hammer dog shit here lately. The Chiefs, even with all that said, are a 10-point favorite at home against the Giants. Total of 52, the Giants. Eight and one against the number of the last nine, and five and one against or five and one straight up in the last six against the Chiefs. It, it, I don't know that you could if you had put out six or seven. I still probably would have taken the Giants here because I, I think the Chiefs their their entire idea of what their team is is broken right now. This defense could not stop me and you lining up to run plays. Like, it's, it is really, really bad. And how they have not fired their D.C., I have no idea. No idea. But they are bad. I mean, just really, really bad. I'm going to take the Giants plus the 10 here. And that might be a sucker's bet because I kind of thought this would open at 7. But, you know, again, you start looking at numbers, and, and it makes sense because, you know, overall, just how explosive this Kansas City offense can be, it makes, it, it makes numerical sense to make them a 10-point favorite. But to me, I don't see it. I, I am not going to bet on the Chiefs again. Like, I got the one cover with the, with them against the Eagles earlier this year. This is, you know, this Giants team ain't ain't awful. So I will I will take uh, I will take the Giants plus the 10 here. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I, have, I have bet against the Chiefs every week this year, and uh, and I've, I've blown one cover. That's it. I've won the rest. Yeah. I, I just think they're a better football team. The Kansas City offense – through the first five weeks of the season, uh, was number one in total DVOA. After the last two weeks, they are all the way down to number five. And and don't get I much. misspoke just then. I just said I think they're the better football team. They're the Giants are not a better football team than the Kansas City Chiefs. I think the Chiefs are wildly, wildly overrated. They are. They're going through some some growing pains right now. I think. Like I think there's just there's something. There's something weird going on with them. Now, could I absolutely uh, see? Let me let me ask a different question. Okay. okay? I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask you a question about about somebody on the Chiefs. But do you do you think people are more like the people they hang out with, or less like the people they hang out with? I I think that's a pretty easy answer. I I think more like the people that they hang out with. Okay. Yeah. So so. The the entire universe, for the most part, believes that Patrick Mahomes' brother and his wife are kind of douchebags. But and they all keep saying it sucks because they're kind of sully in the good name of Patrick. Patrick seems like an unbelievable guy. But at what point do we say, hmm, I'm gonna bet one of these people he's lived with his entire life, and the other one he's chosen to live with the rest of his life. I'm going to bet he's more like those people that we find to be douchebags than not. I I would say this. I think that Patrick Mahomes is better at hiding it. Oh, uh, no doubt. No but, doubt. But but he no, has the, He's unbelievably likable in those State Farm commercials. But Aaron Rodgers was really likable for a long time in all those commercials, too. And then finally, Rodgers said, I'm tired of hiding the fact that I'm a dick. I just want to be a dick to people. That's okay. <laughs> and I'm just going to be a dick. I, I can I can see where you're coming from. I I don't like it. Rogers to me is great. Like when he goes on McAfee show, like I I think you know I appreciate guys that are honest about who they are. Uh, I don't know that we've uh, ever, I don't think he's honest about who he is, but that's fine. I I don't know that we've ever seen Patrick Mahomes have to come out and be honest about who he is, right? Like well, he's never he's no, never really he's been in that setting. Always a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. He's just always a nice guy. Yeah, and it, it plays well for him. You know. Uh, Peyton Manning did that. It's kind of the same thing. Like just yeah, but Peyton running. Manning is. A, hang on now. Peyton Manning is a nice guy. That's the difference. Agreed. If agreed. one guy is playing a nice guy on TV for the crowd, the other guy has been a public figure for thirty something years, and we have record of the fact that he's just really a good dude. Yeah, yeah. No, you're you're not wrong. You are not wrong. Uh, no one hangs out with Peyton and looks around and says, man, you know the people that Peyton surrounds himself with? These guys are dicks. That's true. No one's ever done that. <laughs> They're all like, man, these guys are awesome dudes, just like him. That is, you're 100% right. You're 100% right. 
It is an interesting question. So I guess I guess we'll see. Like uh, Monday night, we'll see what's going on. Chiefs, 10-point favorites. We're both riding with the uh, with the Giants here. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.